With this video, we're going to take a look at booking service appointments and finding the best candidate for that work order through Field Service Lightning on Salesforce. So if I come over here to the work order object, we can see this book appointment quick action. So we're going to click on that and go through the workflow. There's already a service appointment there, but no one's scheduled as of yet. We're going to hit that. We're going to go for next week, 1 Market Street. San Francisco, and then get that appointment. So what this is going to do is based upon the service territory and the operating hours, it is then going to grab the ideal booking appointments. Perfect. But what if I don't want to have a nine to 11, two hour window like that? How do I change that? So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the service territory. And you see that we're using the gold appointments calendar. And if we click on that, that brings us to these two hour windows. Now to change that, what I want to do is I want to change, if we come back here, we are going to change this operating hours to a 45 minute interval and click save. But and this is a part where a lot of people get tripped up is field service lightning doesn't look at this alone. So for that, you need to go into field service settings. And you need to configure the global action to look at that calendar. So if we go to global actions and appointment booking, we want to find that San Francisco 45 minute interval and click save. So now if we come back over here, we'll refresh the page and we'll go through that same booking process again. So here, click on 13, 30, we'll enter the same location and then get appointments. just lighten the boundaries there a bit. And as you can see, we've got our new times available for us for that 45 minute interval. So when you're configuring this book appointment global action, just remember to make those actions on the operating hours as well as the back end in field service lightning.